Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Gina Young. I am super excited today to share with you all how I make a spinach and mushroom omelet. This omelet is healthy, it's delicious, doesn't require a lot of ingredients. If you make a Gina Young style, you're gonna love this recipe. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need mushrooms. I have some white button mushrooms. Feel free to use which mushrooms do you love? That's fine. Need some fresh spinach. I don't suggest using the spinach from the can. The fresh spinach is going to be best for this recipe. You're going to need some butter. You will also need mozzarella. And of course, you're going to need eggs, salt, pepper, and parsley flakes. In my pan, I have a little bit of avocado oil. Make sure your hands are clean. Let's get started with this amazing spinach mushroom omelet, Jenny Young style. Thank you some. And before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys Prince. There's Prince there. He's kind of sleepy and polo let's get started with this video and um, if the dogs are good during the video when the video is over they get a piece of cheese so the first thing that i want to do is i want to talk about the mushrooms when you saute mushrooms uh, when you first get them into your pan naturally they will release a water Okay, it has to come out, okay? Once that water evaporates from your pan, then you're gonna get a nice sear, a nice saute onto the mushroom. You want the mushroom to have somewhat of a golden brown color. We'll season the mushroom and the spinach with salt and pepper once they're almost all the way sauteed. If we salt the vegetables right now, will release too much water into our pan and that's not what we're looking for. So let's get started with our mushrooms and I'm gonna show you how I like to chop my mushrooms up. I hope you all are having a great day today. Somebody, anybody in the comment section, let me know, do you love mushrooms like I do? Do you love spinach like I do? If you're that person, ah, listen, you're gonna live for this recipe. So let's chop up some mushrooms just like so in this manner. You can dice them if you like, slice them. Just have fun with the recipe, okay? So I decided to dice them in today's video. This is a omelet that my family loves. I even feel like, let's just be honest, I even feel like your little kids, the kids that claim that they don't like veggies, they will love this recipe. But it's all about seasoning it well, putting a nice amount of cheese in it, you know, and uh, making sure that your omelet is nice and beautifully fluffy. Right, so now that my mushrooms are nice and chopped up, I'd like to show you how much of the avocado oil I have in my pan to saute. It, it's really not a lot. Let me do it this way. You can see it, not a lot, but it's enough to get the job done. I'm turning this up on a medium high heat. We're gonna get our mushrooms in just like so. And like I said, don't worry when you see water coming from the mushrooms eventually the water in the pan will evaporate i know i'm repeating myself but then it'll start to saute up when it begins to saute up um i'm going to add a little bit of butter for flavor and it will also help to caramelize your mushroom okay now if you wanted to put onion into this recipe by all means you could it would bring great flavor but we're not going to do the onions today just not today okay when you're making a omelet for you your loved ones family and friends find out what they like when you find out what they like you can make them an omelet that they're going to absolutely love you might have uncle bobo that just absolutely can't live without tomatoes in his omelet right so make sure you have those ingredients readily available so we can make everyone happy so now our onions are sauteing up with the oil when they're almost sauteed to perfection we'll put about a teaspoon or maybe a little bit less of the butter to round out the flavor when it comes to your spinach, these are whole pieces of spinach. You don't need to take the stem off, it'll wilt, and you don't need to chop up 
your fresh spinach. I do suggest using a fresh spinach and not the kind that comes in the can. And I'm not sitting here saying that the kind in the can is disgusting because I love it. But for my omelet, it must be fresh. It's gonna be best if it's fresh. If you wanted to put in garlic in this recipe, by all means you can. In the meantime, between time, let's go ahead and get our eggs nice and cracked. And we are going to whip some good air into our eggs. When you do that, it's a promise that your eggs, your omelet, is going to be nice and fluffy, okay? And I also like to do um, what I like to call a pulling technique to the eggs to assure me that my omelet's going to just cook up to perfection and be nice and fluffy. So I have my measuring cup here. Let's go ahead and crack our eggs. I always love to make an omelet using three large eggs. When I use three large eggs, it gives me an omelet that's huge. Three eggs makes for a huge omelet. And what we like to do is I slice that baby right down the middle and then I'll share it with one of my loved ones, right? So if you're looking for a smaller omelet, you can use one egg or you could use two, okay? But if you're looking to share and you don't wanna make several different omelets, use three eggs and you're good to go, right? So now let me show you as our mushrooms saute up, let's take a peek in the pan. You guys will have to bear with me being the uh, cameraman today because my husband is out on a business meeting. All right, so now let's whip air into the eggs. Don't salt your eggs, don't pepper them, don't season them. We will season our omelet towards the end of the cooking process. That way the salt doesn't release too much water out of our eggs and make our omelet runny, right? That's the last thing that we want. So now that I have some nice air into our eggs, we'll just set this aside for the time being. We want for our vegetables to be done before we get started on the omelet because the omelet, it cooks so quickly. Our mushrooms are getting a great sear onto them. So now is the perfect time where hopefully the lighting is okay here, okay? So it's afternoon time right now and I'm having a lot of sun shining in through our kitchen window. So if you're getting a glare, I apologize. Now's the perfect time to go ahead and throw in some butter. Got a great color onto the mushrooms. I'm gonna throw in just about a teaspoon. Okay, and then we wanna put in our spinach. And you know, Gina, that looks like a lot. I know it does, right? Absolutely, it looks like a lot, but really it's just a handful, okay? That spinach will begin to wilt down, which will take about, oh, let's just say, two or three minutes. And once that happens, then we'll go in with salt and pepper. Take a look at how quickly the spinach begins to wilt. Once your spinach begins to wilt, and you can probably see that my mushrooms are not gray and rubberly looking. They have a beautiful golden brown color to them. That's exactly what I'm looking like. Let's go ahead and put some salt and pepper on, just like so, as much or as least as you like. And if your loved ones can't have salt, let them put salt on their self, okay? It'll still be delicious. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here already. Ooh, look it, took it. Okay, so now we're gonna get our pan over here prepared. You see I have a little bit of avocado oil there. I'm gonna get our pan prepared so we can start on our omelet. From here out, this recipe comes together so quickly. Let's start by putting about a tablespoon of our butter in. Your butter can be salted or unsalted. It's really up to your discretion. You could even use ghee if you want it to. Okay, so what I'd like to do when making an omelet, I like to get my butter nice and frothy. And once that happens, I'll show you what happens. The milk solids begin to uh, fall to the bottom and it has a frothy look, almost as if you were drinking a frappe. Okay, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> 
Hey, if that's not what it's called, let's just laugh at it, okay? It's okay. All right. That right there is what I like to call frothy. So now that I have that nice froth to the butter, let's go ahead and add our eggs in nice and slowly. And the first thing that I'm always looking to do when making an omelet is keep my eggs or make it into a circle, okay? Not a huge circle. Do what you can to bring it in. Okay, and as it cooks up, it'll be much easier. This is that pulling technique that I speak about a lot. Okay, I want some of the egg to drift out that way. So what you're doing when doing this pulling technique is you're pulling the cooked egg to the inside, letting the raw egg draw to the outside, okay? And eventually, your whole egg will be able to move cohesively. And once that happens, then you'll be able, and not until then, then you'll be able to put your filling in, okay? Beautiful. So now what you're going to be able to see in this clip is where I have done this so much. Can you kind of see to where we can move it cohesively? That's what I was speaking of, okay? And the whole time I did this, just kept doing this to make it nice and fluffy, keep it into a circle form, okay? All of the raw egg has cooked, okay? You can put a little bit of parsley flakes, make it nice and purty if you want, on the inside and the outside, and not until then is the perfect time to season. Right now is the perfect time. Salt, okay, pepper. One little bit of garlic powder, sure you can. Okay, so now we're gonna take our filling. Oh, yes. But we do need to put some cheese, right? If I haven't said I hope y'all are having a great day, I hope you're having an amazing day. Let me know. Here, here's the thing. I'd love to know this answer. Is there anybody that ever struggled making an omelet? If it's you, after seeing this video, you will struggle, struggle no longer making an omelet. Not making a Gina Young style, you'll struggle no more. All right, so now beautiful filling going on nice healthy delicious omelet gina young style oh way okay what do we gotta do next well i need you to put your spatula underneath and when you feel like not until you feel like you can move this without it tearing that's when i want you to flip this over i need a different spatula I'm gonna come back, we'll flip this over, let it cook just for a little bit, and guess what? Breakfast is served. How easy. Let's go ahead and flip. And do it quick. Don't even give it time to tear on you, right? <laughs> Don't give it time. There you go, look it, took it. Oh, Gina, are you kidding me? Oh, that was simple. You bet it was, look at that. Who wouldn't love to have this here omelet? Mm, mm, mm. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends, tell everyone you know what Jeannie Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful omelet. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen once again. Make you some. Till the next video. God bless. Good night.